Yo, what's up, everyone, and welcome back to another raid Shadow Legends video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the top five legendary support champions within the game. So let's jump straight into it. So I'm gonna start with the Banner Lords, which has some decent Raglan's not bad, but also not the greatest. Let's look at the high elves. I'm just going to show you, jump straight into it. Show you guys the number one, probably best overall support champion that probably no one actually has yet. And it's probably the Arbiter. Just because she's going to be so good in dungeons, especially clan boss. Especially clan boss. Oh, she's going to be really good in clan boss. But she's going to be really even better in the arena. Let's look at her skills. Attack one enemy two times. Each hit a, has a 30% chance of placing a 25% weakened debuff for two turns. Can be increased to 45%. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting. So yeah, that's, that's going to be great. Attacks all enemies one time has a 75 chance of decreasing duration of all enemy buffs by one turn. This will this will be a very great addition in the arena, especially right here. Fills the turn mean of all odds by 30% and places a 50% increase attack buff on all allies for two turns. What? And then heals all allies by 25% of their max HP if they have less than 50. This is going to be really good. And it can be brought down to a three turn cooldown. Revive all dead allies to 35% HP. Then fill the turn meter of all allies by 20%. Grant an extra turn if you were successfully revived, which can be brought down to five. And then the ally speed in the range about 33%. You know she's going to be great in the arena. You know it. So I'm going to say overall, she's probably going to be number one support. Now, Shimani is not bad, neither is uh, Lissandra. They're pretty good. I, wanna, I want you guys to uh, take a great look at Sir Nicholas. I believe he should be a support champion rather than a uh, HP champion. He seems like he's more support than he is HP. So he's going to be my number two because he is... He's one of the best uh, legendary champions out there. It's just undeniably. 50% placing a freeze debuff for one turn. This debuff cannot be resisted. This is easily one of my favorite characters, and I don't even own him. Attacks all enemies, places a shield buff on all allies for two turns. The value of the shield is equal to 30% of the damage inflicted. Now, if this is against a clan boss. It's going to be really, really, really high. Damage is also based on HP, so you definitely want to have some HP sets, maybe even a crit rate, crit damage uh, set on there as well. And then places an unkillable buff and a 15% continuous heal buff for an all allies for two turns. Can be brought down to four, which is ridiculous. He should be a support champion. I don't see why it's not. Maybe it's because he has a shield, but I would think that would put him towards a defensive. Well, he's going to be my number two, even though he is a uh, he's an HP champion. He should definitely be a support champion. That guy sucks. Let's move on. I don't think Lizard or even Skinwalkers has any support, listed, which is just super strange. I'll just jump straight into it and let you guys see my number three, which you guys is already top three easy is Bat El Kazar. He is a he's a beast. His speed is already capped at 102. With the resistant accuracy, 20k HP once you send him this uh, six stars and then send him six times. Attacks all enemies, heals his champion and all allies by 20% of their damage inflicted. Remove all debuffs from all allies, places two 15% continuous heal buff on all allies. So you're getting you're getting 30% for two turns. That's that's crazy. And then also places two 
points in the buffs for all enemies for two turns. I don't think this can actually be resisted. And it can be brought down three turns. Inflicts 15% more damage against targets under poison debuffs. So your heals in this champion are going to be crazy. Just crazy. So he is my number three. For, so for number four and five, is going to be kind of difficult, but a lot of players like to use Team Lord. He is essentially really, really good. 99 speed, uh, resist and accuracy right where they need to be. Increase ally defense in the arena by 42%. That's where it's at. If you're not going speed, you're definitely going to go defense. Resets the turn meter for all enemies with less than 50% HP has an 80% chance of placing a 50% 50, 50 decrease attack buff on all enemies for 2 turns. And then the 60% decrease defense buff on all allies for 2 turns. And you can uh, increase the buff debuff chance by 20%. And then of course you can reduce it to cooldown of 5. So this one attacks one enemy has a 70 chance of placing I 3 Three, mind you, 5% debuffs on all enemies for one turn. If the target is killed by this attack, the skills the, this skill always inflicts a critical hit. I'm kind of surprised with him being a, a support, this damage is based on attack. But still, that's pretty good. Attacks one enemy three times, places a 30% decrease speed debuff for the target for two turns if this attack is critical. So you definitely gotta go critical and attack, probably critical damage and curry where you can. But he's gonna be my number four support. So that's pretty much the top four supports within the game. The orcs have a warlord, which is actually pretty interesting. Has kind of high for support. So he is gonna be my number five. Attacks one of me has a 25% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs on the targets by one turn. This is very interesting. So places a block debuffs buff on all allies for one turn and then places a shield buff equal to 30% of this champion's max HP on all allies, restores all allies HP by 25% as well. It's really good, can be reduced to, uh, he would be really good on the clan boss as well, just because he would, uh, give you the shield, give you the HP, and you can get it down to three turns really good. Then attacks all enemies, has a 70% chance to put each target skills on cooldown. 30% to fully deplete each target's meter can be brought down to 5. So yeah guys, that is going to be my top 5 legendary support champions within the game. If you enjoyed the video, please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly, and I mean greatly, appreciate it. And if you guys are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great and wonderful day and happy grinding.